today i want to talk about one video which has been in my head for many days since i saw that because it is unacceptable the way they have you know described the vegan mindset and vegan philosophy so let us check it out what i'm talking about now, i want to play you a clip this is you talking to joe rogan about vegans i've seen this full episode and they are playing this clip here if you want to save animals um i, I never seen i've never seen anyone say save the leeches no, or no one cares about bugs. Save the ticks. And you can ask, if you're really into animals and don't want to kill them, if you heard that ticks were endangered, would you start a movement to protect ticks? W would you do that? And if you would, uh, more power to you. But I'm thinking you're not. They're not. It's the little guys they don't care about. Let us give, you know, vegans perspective here. No, sirs, vegan do not support exploitation in any form, especially when it is systematic, when it is intentional and when it is avoidable. And that does not exclude bugs. It starts with bees for honey, but it goes to following specifics. So you understand well. First, silk forms. You might be aware of silk fabric, which is so popular in India and Indians love it. But you know what? Vegans don't support that, don't wear it. Because thousands of silk worms needs to be boiled alive to get one meter of silk cloth. How about pearls? We have to culture oysters and put them under stress to get those pearls. And that's a systematic exploitation. And oysters are considered even, you know, lower life forms than insects. So if this is not enough for you, let's talk about insects and roaches farming. They are trending as superfoods. Vegan do not support that. Vegan do not subscribe to that uh, that kind of industry as well. So if you got more little guys, you want you want vegans to think about, bring them on. We will be the first people to add them to the list. Okay, now let's talk about uh, Piers Morgan's uh, comments about almonds and avocados, and um, let's see what's what's there. And I always point out, most vegans I know munch away on almonds and avocados and they turn a blind eye to the fact that this causes the mass murder of billions of bees, mainly in California. So PMG, we thought we had to give it to you because there is some consistency with uh, honey bee used. But it's not only almonds and avocados. There are many crops which needs artificial pollination through bees because bees just don't like monoculture. And biggest killer of bees there is pesticides. So questionable farming practices do not make whole plant-based consumption wrong. So I don't care about the little guys, Neil. I see your arguments are built on hatred repeatedly. Everybody knows about that. Please don't try to shame people who are trying to trying their best to help helpless living beings. My only reaction there is um, that comment was addressing only vegans who are vegans because they don't want to kill animals. Yes, no, there I agree. Other reasons to be vegan. Of course. Right, for the health or the environment. No, no, I'm talking but specifically those who didn't one, want to kill. The ones who run into steak houses playing sounds of cows being slaughtered. They're the ones that munch avocados and almonds, invariably. No, sir, there is only one reason to be vegan and that's for stopping animal exploitation. Environment and health are just surprising benefits of doing right thing. You know, it's like solving three puzzles with one equation. Yeah, and by the way, and they are dining upon the reproductive organs of plants. That's yes. kind of weird. What? And I imagine if if an if a if a plant-based alien visited Earth, they would freak out when they saw vegetarians. Yes. <laughs> because the vegetarians would be eating them, right? And 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 vegetarians target um, not only the reproductive organs, the nuts, the berries, the flowers, but they also target the infant versions of it. Baby lettuce, baby carrots, baby... Oh my this, is, God. this would terrify a plant-based alien. So that's just a cosmic perspective on that No, diet. no, you've I, given me, you have I, given I, me a whole new line of attack. The, the, the flower <laughs> baby... No, no, let's wait here and uh, let's see, you know, how we deconstruct all these things, what he's talking about. Sir, what absurd allegations on vegans? Baby plants? Reproductive organs of plants do you do you know how many plants needs to be killed to get calories from animals i think you will love this data have a look at this it takes close to 119 square meter of cropland to be used to get thousand calories from beef 
for same thousand calories you need 116 square meter almost same to get get thousand calories from cheese you need 22 square meter but when you go down and you will see that you know all the plant based sources very very nutrition plant based sources are consuming much much lesser land use uh, for getting same thousand thousand calories have a look at the data you will come to know what we are talking about i think this is this is not expected from you you are the person who would love data more than dairy meat and aliens but this is not your character i think you need to do your research now as we know that you know it takes many many more plants to be killed to get the same nutrition from animals now let's go a little more deeper and and this is these are all very very concerning con concerning signs for our continuous usage of you know animal based protein and nutrition so there is one report from wwf which says that 60% of global diverse diversity is lost just because of you know meat based diets 60% biodiversity loss there is 26% of the pla planet's ice free land is used for livestock grazing and 33% of crop lands are used for livestock feed production it's hopping number i hope you are getting this worldwide there are 77% of agricultural land worldwide 77% of agricultural land is used only for animal agriculture that means maybe 23% is used for humans who is killing more plants and and hence who would be killing more and more bugs which are dependent on those plants please understand this and another one is uh, plant based aliens um, so if any living being can build a spaceship and travel to a whole new planet can we really call them plants because by definition plants cannot move and plants do not have cognitive capabilities like bugs or birds or mammals has so aren't you talking about whole new species but you are better qualified so let's see a mango tree comes with its friend coconut tree and what do they see here they see all those all those farmed animals cows and buffaloes and chickens and pigs and turkeys all of them are eating their brothers and sisters and do you know why they will freak out because there are there are 23 billion in numbers so don't hate me if i repeat this read more about the vegan lifestyle and you will find that how consistent it is to minimize the harm to all the life forms.